In the networking domain, the big change here is the focus of the exam. There's always a bit of a focus on the A+, plus, on networking, from an administrator's point of view. Now the focus is more on the device itself, how it connects to the network. What, does it, what do you need to configure to get a device on the network? You need IP address, subnet mask, default gateway if you're going to other networks. You need a MAC address and so on. That information hasn't changed from the 801 to the 901. The focus of it has. And, of course, how to troubleshoot it when its connectivity is gone. Is everything plugged in? Is everything configured correctly? IP classes, that's talking about IP address classes, are gone. Class A, B, C, D, and E are no longer testable topics. You'll cover that in the Network Plus exam. It doesn't apply here. You will also not be tested on WiMAX, IEEE Standard 802.16. It's a uh, metropolitan area networking solution for wireless. Uh, never, it's never really taken off the, off the ground and needs to be reconsidered. So we'll no longer be tested on that on the A+. It is introducing, the A+, is, it's introducing the 802.11 AC protocol as a testable topic. 802.11 AC, one of the things that's been happening with the growth of wireless, 802.11b, 802.11g, Bluetooth, all use the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. And that frequency has become crowded. Uh, there are a lot of devices that use it. Microwaves use it. I think some handheld phones use 2.4 gigahertz. Starting with 802.11n, wireless started using both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz frequency. Last time we saw 5 gigahertz used for Wi-Fi was with the 802.11a standard for wireless. Now with 802.11ac, 5 gigahertz is making a, a comeback there. 802.11ac uses just the 5 gigahertz band. It also uses MIMO or MIMO, multiple input, multiple output. It's a bonding technology, if you will. You'll have multiple channels in a frequency in both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz frequencies of multiple channels. And they can be bound together on a logical layer so that you can increase bandwidth to a device. Each channel transmits at 433 megabits per second. And each time that a WAP wireless access point and a client pair can increase the bandwidth, they're going to increase it by uh, another chunk of 433 megabits per second. 